95.3 Trace FM, man. Just catching up with man like Stone Boy, who is in the building right now. First time in the 254, I believe. Never. Never. Never ever been. Could I never be the first time? Uh, could never be the first time. This must be probably the fifth time. No way. Or the fourth time. No. Not less than three. Really? Me. When's the first time you came here? First time I think Coke Studio wrote me. Oh through. yes, so I did yes, Coke Studio yes, twice, yes. And I did two times again. Coke and Studio. This must be the fifth time. Coke Studio, I remember. Yes, yes, yes. This is what, fifteen or fourteen? There about twenty something. We've been here, bro. Yeah, we've been here. <laughs> Shag- Shagana to Stone Boy in the place. Landed straight into the country on Friday. And let me tell you, if you've been checking out his Instagram, he's uh, mm. literally met everybody but the president. Uh-huh. But uh, from my sources, I hear that you're going to be having the, meeting the president later today. Yes, you know, and, you know, it, to congratulate him same way. <laughs> same way? You know, as an African son. Yes. Visiting is only right. It's culturally. Always. Like, like it's culturally Always. right to greet the elders when you go into the place. So you have if, to. if I do get the opportunity, why not? Uh, why not? So face and we just need to talk to like the foreign affairs guys because you know Ghana, mm-hmm. Kenya, the ties are very nice. Strong. First and foremost, I got to congratulate strong, Ghana strong. because Ghana's that one country. If you're traveling from Kenya straight all the way in, you actually don't need a visa. I love that. Yeah, I, honestly, that's that's smooth. Very. That's smooth. I mean, there's no need to need a visa within yes. Africa. Yep. I don't think there's reason need to need a visa within Africa. We're Traveling actually, as Africans. We don't. I don't we, think there are. We should feel free to just go, you know, right wherever yeah, we want to go. Aside probably from going from Ghana to South Africa is when is what I know you have to have a visa. Mm-hmm. You know, and they've been working on that to try to eliminate it. I think they pushed it to a certain limit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It was past one time that they've stopped mm. and I was jumping about, but it's not really, I don't know. It's it's not. But they were working complete. on it. Yeah. Well. Well, ah, it's only left for the president to rectify. Ah, like that's and, it. And then that's it. And, the, and so, then it becomes so official. I mean, I'm happy to have Kenya out of that list from time, time, oh, time. Oh, trust you know me. I mean? When we're there in December, we're just pulling up to the airport. We're home! Yeah, you know real. what I mean? That's how it's supposed to be. You know? Yep. It's now, I want to, to say congratulations to you and your fellow countrymen. You guys put up an amazing, huge show. Uh, literally, what? Two, week, two weeks ago, right? Mm-hmm. How was that? And uh, I want to start with how it was. And I also want to get to a bigger part of the conversation. I know you've been a really really part of this whole conversation to do with Africa, mm-hmm. the Grammys, right? Mm-hmm. So let's start with how the show was. How was it? Um, amazing show. Like, yes. is it, they're talking a global citizen, right? Mm-hmm. That's not even two weeks yet, I think, because I left Ghana on Monday. Yes. Oh, actually, it's going to be two yeah. weeks next week. Exactly. Yes. So it's still fresh, it's buzzing. Mm-hmm. And it's really important to have such platforms come to Africa, you know, m- 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 more often because it tends to It tends to throw more light on what is happening in Africa. Yes. In terms of the artistry, the artists we have, you know, and continuing to showcase them to the world. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. And also, Global Citizen stands for, you know, things that are really very healthy Mm. to humanity. Yes. You know, the girl, child, the planet, and change. And these are the three things that I think are inevitable. We all have to, you know, look after. So I was there to represent, to perform. And these are things that my music speak about yes. and speak to. So there was no other person who could have opened up that grand show happening in Accra, you know, than myself. Other than your boy. So we pulled up, yep. we pulled in on a horse mm-hmm. and represented Ish. some type of vibes and, you know, sent the message. Yes. We did first two reggae songs, you know, and then we switched it up to... Mm. Afro beat and switch it up to Afro dance or like you know that's what we do like we just blend the vibes and it feels super good I like it now on the sidelines I know one of the very very big people from the Grammys was in a 10 yes you're right he attended and I've been seeing all of the different press conferences with uh, him saying that they've been speaking to guys in the Afro category to try Mm -hmm. and get their opinions in terms of how the Grammy should address it right now I also know that you got to spend some time with him what was that conversation about like coming straight from the horse's voice yeah um you're right 
Um, I got to meet him up in Rwanda. Mm. You know, I was out in Rwanda already. Yeah. And then we had a nice one-on-one. After I performed, mm. you know, to such an elite crowd, yes. you know, filled with people of his likes, mm. you know, you can only tell that the, my music cut across to that, that level as well. So, you know, I delivered and he was standing all through cheering up. Mm. So that tells you, I think that, you know, he also understands the music and the terrains that we're dealing with. So personally speaking with him, it wasn't even too much into what he already knows. <laughs> you know, he he runs up. Um, he's a CEO of, a, of 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 an institution that deals with the music we create. So, I mean, they can only continue to serve and listen to the people's voices yeah. over the years as it switches. And I think Afrobeats of today has come of age to to deserve priority. You know. Um, um, priority treatment mm. and I think that's what they have to get to work and put together it's not going to be easy because for me I think and I think he stated as well when we we're vibing about it that it wouldn't be easy and I and I bought that because Africa is so you know is so diverse with sounds so when you say Afro beats category how are you going to fix there's that? so many sub genres yes yes there's so many sounds even mm. if you put it that way you know you're safe and sub genres as well coming from the local yeah. you know All so how are we going to how are we going to have a sound like you know okay this is the sound that tailors towards Afrobeat mm, particularly. Mm, yeah. You know, maybe just like when you take a reggae track, you mm. know, reggae is, is, is it's unique. Huge. Like reggae is unique to its sound. Mm. You know how it goes. Yeah. But Afrobeat is very diverse, complex, and and so that's where the challenge is going to have to be like so that it doesn't be like it's, it's only... A couple of sounds. A yeah. couple of sounds, especially maybe from the West. Yeah. You know. Now, I want to get a bit... Uh, political with this conversation, right? And I think uh, um, me and G spoke about it on the podcast, right? Yeah. And I think I am of the opinion, and this is my opinion, right? I feel like the Grammys have kind of gotten boring and they need to spruce it up, hence them reaching out to the African market. Because if you think about it in a wider, mm -hmm. in a wider conversation, scope, yeah. Yeah? yeah, all of this different huge collaborations with African artists mm -hmm. that was not happening before. Yeah. And you know, like when I see Wizkid fill up stadiums, mm -hmm. Barna, yeah, you do different collaborations, yeah. and you know um, your 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 songs even getting nominated and all of that. Mm -hmm. That wasn't happening before. You always wanted it, but since you didn't get that, and Africans we just didn't get it, mm -hmm. we decided to continue doing what we're doing. So it's up. It's now them yeah. catching up. Because name a genre that's as cool as mm -hmm. Afro right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. worldwide. Exactly, and I mean, like you're saying, for me, I I, I do not really place too much you know um um um, um too much responsibility mm. on <clears throat> on 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 institutions that seem to use our products to yes. reward us mm. <laughs> you know what i mean I as creatives you. i put responsibility on on us as people to just understand that we have to keep going irrespective mm. of what these establishments you know mm. have or the criteria that they have set in place it's just like maybe for instance you know, um, having to have to necessarily break into America before you you are recognized. Yes. Because that's where they are Get positioned. That you see, that's where they are placed. Mm. So they can only see from that scope. Mm. Meanwhile, Africa is a huge continent with with numerous talent mm. where our people home and abroad are influencing a lot of a lot of other people to join hands mm. in our in, in, in propelling and consuming our music yeah. which is what has grown over the years to mm. gain the attention mm. of such institutions so likewise they want to also get involved and you know tailor it to suit there and you realize that i think they put out some narratives that we weren't too you know too too comfortable with because mm. when it gets popular then they have to find a way to be part of the conversation. And yep. that's that's what they represent. So for me, it's not... I don't see it as... It's, 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 it's news. Mm. That, so we only have to be aware of... You know, the, the different conversations the different, around. Yeah, we only have to be aware. So with a Grammy or without a Grammy or with awards or without awards, mm. music has never... It, those have never determined, mm. you know, how 
maybe they do to an extent mm. if you want to tailor your stuff to suit those you know yeah. institutions yes mm. but i think you would then be limiting your scope because music is 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 for the people music would live it really is it is without awards you know no I like that we can sit here and have a whole conversation about music. Now, I want to throw it back with you, right? Um, I was reading an article where, you know, Biniman gave you a whole endorsement. That is absolutely huge. Yeah. We're going to get to it. But I know, you know, in terms of Ghana and how you guys consume dancehall, reggae, it's, yeah. it's you know, it's inbred, right? Mm-hmm. But to you, who is the first reggae artists that you remember hearing their song and internalizing it like to you know to a, a degree of you knowing all of the words back yeah. when you were a kid oh, like yeah. that first one you were like you know what this is a song I'm chanting to over and over I, I honestly it, it, it came in a group to me mm. so there wasn't that one particular song at the moment where I, I could realize what I was doing yeah. but before then I remember a song like R to the A to the G to the G to the A A you hear it on the radio a lot yeah that one you know that's the one that I can confidently tell you was a song that I could hear a lot like okay fine that's that's some kind of vibes though yeah. and then I later realized that they were saying Raga that's what it was spelling R to the A to the G to the G to the A alright uh-huh. But then moving on from there, the Beanie Mans, the Sean Pauls, the Shabba Ranks, the Shabba. Kippel Tans, yes, those were the, the Buju Bantans, those were it. So I actually got got um, introduced, not only, so I got them at a whole, like, you know, because you pick CDs, you yes. bought CDs uh. that has a collection of oh, the those. the MP3 era. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it was not just only one artist. I got exposed immediately to like, maybe five, six, seven at once, like bang. Uh, and I was just chilling with it. So I learned a lot from all these, you know, these super legends who ha- who are like, these ones are master foundations, bro. Mm, mm. Bro, like heavy these ones legend. are heavyweight how many, foundations. How many sound system <laughs> clashes have you been to? In Jamaica, I've been to a few whenever I was there. That, yeah. You know, it's Jama- sound, sound class system is Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Jamaican culture. Mm. Yeah. Jamaica, I've been to a few. So, you go, you had a PR, is it PR5 or something? In yes. Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes on. I was reggae some first times. Uh-huh. I do anytime I go, I go into the hoods. I go into the, you know, and they do that re- often. And in Ghana, it's actually picking up. So, oh, really the ones is. in Ghana as well, big up Lagazi sounds and a, f- a few more yes. big, big sounds there in Ghana as well, you know following after the culture and you know bringing that fun of it to yes. the people yeah all right now if you're just looking is there in, any sound class systems in kenya as well mm, there's been plans of organizing one i remember back in the day there's been a couple of rumors here there who and yeah. who should do a sound class, I, I, right? I think they should we should they actually should. internationalize it mm. you know and not leave it only national yeah like you know Ghana, because I can, I can, I can make that happen. Definitely, it's just about links. So let's have the sound people over here, because Kenya is a huge consum- hey, consumer huge. of reggae. So let's do Ghana Kenya sound clash already, bro. Why not? You know, we don't and, need and, no and visa keep, and keep the culture running, running, running. Yo, G money, I know you're in there somewhere. <laughs> we'll put up the things there, um, and like you know, that. let's clash it. Let's let's, let's make it happen. It. Let's bring that aspect. I like. I feel like there are a lot of fun things you know we can do with our music, like. On an event level, there's a lot, you know, it's, you know, and 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 that's it. I like how you think, you know, when it comes to the music. And one of the things about music is it knows no boundaries, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Who have you been working with since you've been here? Um, working as in music. Hit the studio with, yeah. Oh yes, I did uh, calligraph. I mean. Saudi is my people's from time. Calligraph as well. No uh-huh. G, bad rapper. But when I say bad, bad. I mean bad. Yo, they blow Yo, bad. Let me tell you, Calligraph stay Yo. working, man. Like he's in Yo. the studio every single day. Is is a is a is a big 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 one big yeah. lyricist you know? yeah. his body shows for it so <laughs> if it, yo listen to me brother if you're a whack rapper I will make sure we diffuse your body to make you small boy yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> his rap is huge as his rap huge. that's it yeah man you know? but his work ethic is is ginormous it's crazy and yeah, salty man. as well these are my brother's brothers you know mm-hmm. what I mean and mm-hmm. Nyashinsky I met on Coke Studio them time there yeah. and I'm hoping to actually yo had the band I always mention these mm-hmm. people because guess mm-hmm. what you know I'm one person who doesn't see music on an egoistic level yeah, I see yeah. it on a family level first and foremost mm-hmm. so if I can't connect with you as family I really cannot be able to churn out the best of me however you know what I mean so yeah, man, these I, are the brothers you know I, and I'm I, looking forward to work with any other 
other people with all due respect. Yes. Yeah. Shout going out to uh, ZJ Heno as well. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. Miji, I, I want to you, man. I, I love Heno. I've known Heno for years, man. Such a great worker real as well. Real guy, real guy. Honest he and really, calm really guy. He really, is very, very calm. Yeah, man. Hey, beautiful and so guy. I wonder how he got all the tattoos. You know, like, Yo. calm guy with a lot of tattoos. <laughs> like, what's, what's wrong? You know, he's always, you know, one thing about Heno <laughs> is this. Heno's always in a jacket, right? Exactly. But when he takes out his jacket, then you know like, the man's like, what? You know, yo. He's, he's, he's a dope guy. Yeah, man. I, Shagana I, I, to Redson as well. Guy. I saw you Yeah, man. Redson, yo, mad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I think I should just come and stay for two weeks, you know. I, I think you need to come definitely. down here. Yeah, I will. I, we will do that. I will definitely organize it with, you know, the brothers, Redson, mm-hmm. Calligraph. We'll make sure we do like a recording camp. Yes. You know, so we can. It's important. Like, we need to be doing these things, you feel me? Like, mm. and have a crop of us. Because music is evolving and we have to think beyond singular levelness, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and find how we can, because it's business in the end. And we can, collaboration thrives it better than isolation, you know. I like that. Now, yeah. now you've just said music, um, you know, at the end of the day gets into uh, becoming a business. When I look at your whole portfolio and everything that you represent, you've been able to turn your talent into a whole industry. And I can see you've true, now, true. you've been able to unlock that sustainability money. That is a exactly. lot of money, bro. Exactly. Like how, who's, who's, obviously I've got a credit to you. Um, I know you're a marketing genius by having attended, uh, you know, Having studied yeah, that at we school, try. yeah, you try by selling on the on the streets in the hood. Yeah, yeah, that's where it stems from. I like that. <laughs> you know, it started with um, the work and then having to go get that qualification, For being real. taught. But For at real. the end of the day, you have to be able to represent. I'm still yourself. in school anyway. I had to go back to the books, basically. How do you? What do you study now? Public administration, trying Ooh. to get them thing there. Oh, you, what political office in the horizon? No, a humanitarian office is more important like to that. me because that's what we do anyway. So tell me more about um, sustainability and uh, what you're doing on a global and continental scene. You know, basically, I'm I'm a musician first and foremost, mm. which would never cease to, yeah. you know. Every other thing else I came to learn. Mm-hmm. But I think, yes, as much as we have to learn to grow on the music, I believe that the music that I have and do mm. is actually a calling for me. So I can't really depart away from it. Yes. Also. So I have to put in my all blood, sweat and tears investment, make sure I capture mm. the pros and cons as quickly as I can to be able to keep me running. Yeah. Because I mean... I cannot say that I'm done already. Look at that. Those who have always inspired me are still closing the tours and festivals and shows. So then how lazy can I be not to be you investing can't. and pushing? Yeah. It's as simple as that. Those who inspire me mm. are still here doing it. Yeah. You know, I've been looking at this whole uh, conversation to do with uh, sustainability, you know, um, global warming and everything, right? Mm. And one thing that people don't actually understand is Africa is going to be hit the hardest. Right. So it's, you know, like I looked at the speech our president delivered and mm. spoke about how, you know, the, the bigger nations need to be a part of it and support the continent. Right. Mm. So I'm glad that you're actually going above and beyond to tell oh, the younger yes, guys yes, to yes, understand yes. It. in that in that manner. You know, I'm actually very active, mm. you know, and that's one of the reasons why an entity like Global Citizen will place premium, yeah. you know, attention to my craft and me having to mm. be on that. It's not like we're just coming as an entertainer. Mm. But as somebody who preaches the vibe, when you take my songs like Wrong Girl and Greedy yeah. Men, you find out that we're defending humanity and defending Earth. Yeah. Because basically, I think, if I'm wrong, you can correct me, the Earth doesn't need us, we need it. Mm-hmm. Earth heals. Remember like, you yeah. know, COVID-19, right? Yeah. When all the things that be companies, yeah. industries been shut yeah. down and you look at like when they were looking at the global omission levels mm-hmm. and everything, just by us chilling, exactly. the globe had, so us guys need us. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's us that need it. So we have to actually yeah. do things that would have us, mm. you know, sustain our race yeah. basically. And, and not do things that will extinct us, mm. you know. So we have to pay critical attention. And sometimes it's interesting how mm. the regular mind doesn't go there at all. Yes. Because you wake up in the morning, you're just looking at hustling, getting your money and all of that. But mm. remember, you're living within a, a an ecosystem yep. that you need to 
protect and and serve because mm. you're you're taking from it yeah. like yesterday i saw on instagram randomly mm. there was an earthquake somewhere in colombia somewhere mm. somewhere i'm not being specific right now yeah. and it, it 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 brought a lot of thoughts to mind like you see the cars shook mm. i'm like so actually we're actually living within a setting we're mm. living within a uh, let's say a, a planet yeah. that can decide to bro that can decide to just do like this mother nature's very and, and everything is everything is gone flattened everything literally. so yeah man so we have to really pay attention to the things that we do mm. deliberately out of having to get you know things from the earth like the minerals and its resources that we always dig in mining mm. making you know thrashing our 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 w- 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 water yes. bodies etc etc we have to pay attention and this conversation has to always go on it has and we to. have to be reminded that we have to do these things on a daily basis and it's I, not like I, you have to wait for the president to come and tell us this to be able that. to you know to you know but guess what is the big companies that are adding the most mm. to these climate whatever problem so is them that we have to actually society have to call on them to actually you know because they probably can go to space mm. they can find money to go to space when and, the time and comes stay there and we might not be able to <laughs> i love it listen this conversation could go on and on but man time over and i want to roll out with this song called giddy bar is you that, know firm and strong first and strong it's the meaning from and strong say it again let me hear how you pronounce that giddy bar <laughs> is, that, is that how you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? No, that's it, that's it, that's Gidiba. it. Gidiba. That's it, that's it, that's oh. it. But there's a G in there, though. You realize there's a G-B-A in the end. Gidiga. It's, it's G-I-D-I-G-B-A. So how do you pronounce that? So when there's a G-B and an A, uh, it's the B silent. Exactly. Oh. It's called Gidiba. Gidiba. Yeah. Like, Come on. I know, We're right. African. Yes. I knew that. <laughs> all right. Shout out to man like Stone Boy in the yeah, place. Man. Appreciate you for coming through. Thank you very much. And of course, I've we can't wait to see you out in Ghana. And before all of that, we need to have that in whole musical academy. Definitely, you need boss, to come man. down, spend some time. I will. I yep. want to. I must. You must. Yeah, and I want to put up. I want to have my concert here as well. Like, oh, you know, I can't I re- wait to be like, yeah, sh- man, do the things properly. I really heard about that. Okay, yeah, okay, you know, we're working, okay. We're working. <laughs> Shout out to Stone Boy one mad, more time. Mad, mad, so yeah, man, Gidigba is a new one. It mm-hmm. means firm and strong. It's firm a, and it's strong. a Yoruba word that cuts through. That down to yeah. my ethnic it means the same thing so ah. just stand firm and strong is a is a is a is a is a, is a lyrical jam you know yes soak it in you don't know Boom.